Hey, what's going on everybody? My name's Scott. I'm gonna show you how to make a lightsaber out of PVC pipe. So here's a list of what you're gonna to need to uh, build this PVC lightsaber. Shout out to the Wolfman at Wolfpack um, for the TikTok that went viral for on how to make this PVC lightsaber. Uh, here's a quick list of everything you're gonna need. A three quarter inch adjustable repair coupling, a three quarter inch two foot PVC pipe, two three quarter inch PVC couplings, one one inch PVC cap, one half inch PVC cap, so here's a list of what you're gonna need to finish this thing out um, and get it prepped for paint and get some paint on. Some 220 grit sandpaper, some acetone, gloves, some duct tape, super glue, a small drill bit, a power drill, some spray paint for the handle. I just use what I had on, on hand. I use this silver color, different color spray paint for the blade. First thing you're gonna do is take one of these three quarter inch couplings they, um, when you get them, they have a little lip inside of them so that the two pipes that go inside of them uh, meet in the middle. On one of those, you're gonna take your drill and your biggest drill bit, which I've already done here, um, and remove that lip on the middle. What I did with one of those couplings, you're gonna take this piece and then unscrew the top there, then pop this uh, PVC pipe in the middle that has the gaskets on it all the way out. Take this coupling that you shaved off the inner lip of and pop it back inside of there, right? So, and then you're gonna stick that pipe in there and it's gonna go into it tight. So you're gonna need um, like a rubber mallet. I got a big uh, rubber mallet right here. I'm gonna use my vise to just, uh, not gonna clamp down on it. You're just gonna use it as a lip so that it doesn't, you know, so this will go into the pipe. So you're just gonna push this all the way down into the pipe. It's going into that coupling. All right, so take two. Thankfully, I bought two of these things. Um, you're gonna unscrew the, the top, and then you're gonna pop this pipe out that has the two black gaskets on it. Set this uh, outer housing part to the side. You're gonna take that and your coupling that you shaved the inside out of, and you're gonna push it, push it into it, and then you're gonna take that, set it against something hard, pop it into there with your, with your rubber mallet carefully. And then get it to where the the pipe is sticking out of the uh, out of the coupling. Don't clamp it down or anything, but use a vise or something to just hold the the coupling part so that you can pound pipe through the coupling. until you get it all the way down there, be careful with it so you don't break it like I did. And you're gonna take this piece, unscrew this part again, put it back in there, and then it's going to stop the pipe just about flush or a little bit in. And that way you get the right length on the rest of the part so that you get the right length uh, handle for this lightsaber so it looks nice and balanced. So now you got that um, pipe inside of it with the coupling in there that's holding it right at the right length. Um, you're going to take the other coupling. I don't use any PVC glue for any of this. Um, I just kind of press everything together. Once you paint it, it's going to hold together better anyhow. Um, so you can use PVC glue if you want to, to make sure everything stays together nice and tight. I don't think it's necessary. So you're going to take that coupling, shove it on the other end of that pipe, take your one inch cap, shove it on the end of that coupling. And then now your handle is complete, right? So now that's the hilt. This part is now complete, just needs to be sanded and painted. And then the next uh, part we're gonna do is we're gonna complete the blade. All we're gonna do is just glue a cap on top of here. And so what I did, I took some duct tape and rolled it sticky side out so that it would join in the, the pipe to the cap, just like that. So I make it just enough that, uh, that it'll go in there because the cap is the same size as the pipe, right? It's for a half inch pipe, this is a three quarter inch pipe. So I just put that in there, uh, put some uh, that rolled up duct tape in there to kind of Hold it together, and they're gonna take some super glue and just put it in the joint there. So you got super glue all the way around that. Push that down and join it to the pipe. Set that aside, let it dry while you sand the, the hilt and get everything ready for paint. The one last thing you're gonna do before you start sanding and get ready to paint, stick your PVC pipe uh, lightsaber blade into the hilt, and then you're gonna take um, a drill with a small drill bit the way you find out what size you need is just really just go out in your garage, find a screw that's not gonna go all the way through your lightsaber, 
and then find a drill bit that's slightly smaller than that screw. So you're gonna take your drill, insert it into the hilt, and then you're just gonna drill, start slow so you can get it started, and then drill all the way through your hilt and then through the pipe. And now you got a, a hole through the hilt into the blade. Um, this is gonna do two things, right? So you're gonna take um, the screw that you found in your garage, stick that in the hole, screw that in there. Now that um, is gonna hold your lightsaber blade onto your hilt without um, needing to use any PVC glue. And then the second thing that's gonna do, you take that screw back out of there, is now you have a hole to tie a piece of string to or paper clips or whatever you wanna use um, to hang this so you can paint it and turn it as you're painting it so you can get a nice even coat. So, and it makes it a really easy way to hold the hilt on there. You could also take the screw out of there, take the hilt out, put a D-ring on this and wear it like a lightsaber hilt on your belt or whatever you want to do. That's the last thing you need to do before you start sanding. All right, it's time to sand this thing. So you're gonna take your 220 grit sandpaper and your lightsaber, and you're just gonna sand it until you get a nice rough surface that'll accept the paint better. You're gonna sand until all this black lettering is gone. All right, so we got our parts sanded. Everything is uh, a nice rough texture. So the next step is going to be wiping this off with a, an acetone soaked rag. And that's gonna do two things. It's going to wipe off all the sanding dust and it's also gonna open up the pores of this plastic so that it will be ready to accept paint. So you're gonna take your acetone, you're gonna get a rag. I just have this old microfiber uh, towel that I'm gonna throw away afterwards. So we're just gonna take that Get a um, good amount of acetone on it. Make sure you're wearing gloves and then get this uh, rag good and soaked with acetone. Make sure you don't spill it on anything. All right, and then you're just gonna wipe off these pieces um, with that acetone on the rag. Make sure you do this outside or if you're gonna do it inside that you wear a respirator or a mask so that you don't breathe in these fumes. Even being outside, I can still smell the, the fumes coming off of this stuff. So uh, just be careful with it. Don't let your kids around it, things like that. Make sure you wipe it off real good. Get all the dust off of it, cleaned off. And then once you're done wiping this down with acetone, you're going to uh, let this dry for a while, probably 20 or 30 minutes or if you're outside and it's a nice warm day like it is today, um, probably would take even less time than that. So there we go. Parts are all cleaned up. Got a nice rough surface on them that's ready for paint. Wiped them down with acetone to get all the dust off and open up the pores of this material. Okay, so we're gonna let these dry for a little bit and then we are going to uh, get paint. So the next step, like I said, is gonna be paint. So you're gonna get your color for your hilt and your color for your blade. And uh, before you paint, you wanna shake these up real good for a minute. All right, so once you got your paint can good and shaked up, you're going to take your hilt, use that hole you drilled in earlier. I just use a little string of paper clips a hook with a paper clip and uh, use that to hang your piece from you're gonna paint with it that way so I want to make sure if you're outside that the wind is at your back um, so that you don't get paint sprayed back in your face shake this up good get a little test spray there you go all right now we're gonna put some color on this thing You want to go back and forth in a nice even motion, spin this thing around so you get a nice even coat of paint on it. Keep that thing moving, keep it a good, you know, six inches to a foot away from it. We're going to put some color on our, our blade part of our lightsaber. All right, same thing. We're just going to do a, a nice even motion and coat, staying about six inches to a foot away from, from, our, uh, from our piece that we're painting. We 
got a nice even coat. First coat of paint on our lightsaber blade. So now we're going to take our pieces that we just painted with our paper hanging from our paper clips and we're gonna hang them up to dry. And I just uh, use those paper clips to hang up these pieces. I'm gonna let them dry for a little bit and then we're gonna do another coat. Uh, look at the specific spray paint that you're using for the dry time that it says on there. Generally let it dry for about an hour before you put another uh, coat of paint on. And I'm just doing two coats of paint and then I'm gonna call this thing good, let it dry and set for a good 24 hours before you really handle it. All right, so it's been 24 hours since we finished painting our lightsaber. Um, I waited an hour after the first coat, put a second coat of paint on both of these parts. And the last step was just to take the hilt and take the blade, insert them together, insert our screw there. And now it's a finished, beautiful painted PVC lightsaber. So now this is ready for epic lightsaber battles and for cosplay or for whatever you want to use it for. Here is a blue lightsaber that I made before this video that inspired me to make this video and show y'all how um, simple it is to finish this out, put some paint on it, make it look really good, make it look just as good as any lightsaber you can buy in the store, in my opinion. So uh, we got the light side of the force, the dark side of the force right here with our red and blue PVC lightsaber. These are ready for any epic lightsaber battles as long as you don't hit them too hard together they it's just plastic pvc so it will break um so be careful with them um, but i think they look great i think they turned out really good and um i'm really excited with uh with the finished product here so um have fun playing with your lightsabers thanks guys